the backyard to put new strings in my old guitar. The E was flat, the A it stayed sharp. I had no idea at all how happy it would make small. And how drunk you and I'd get before dark. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to today's video. So, I am six DPO today. So I will be testing in about three days. I'll probably start testing in two days actually. Um, and I think the first time that I test, I will put in this video at the end. So I think we're gonna have this video go over two days, yeah. So um, definitely hang out to the end of the video. Um, because with Cooper, I did get a positive at 8 DPO, and that's going to be the first time that I take a test. So, an update on how I'm feeling. I feel fantastic. I've never felt better, to tell you the truth. I have been so calm and relaxed and happy. I feel life within me. I just am... I don't know. I just... Everything just feels wonderful. I feel like I'm glowing. I just feel like things are happening or already happened I just feel pregnant so um, that's really exciting I'm I'm really excited to start testing and to, to actually get like a confirmation but um, I pretty much just have been going about my life like I am already pregnant because it just feels that way so yeah I'm I feel really good I um, have had a little bouts of nausea I wouldn't have any HCG in my system right now so it wouldn't be really be because of that maybe it's just from like what happens before like ovulation to implantation etc it's a rainy gloomy day you wouldn't be able to tell by how like good of a mood I'm in I'm about to go for a walk into town alone and just go get myself some coffee um, we ran out of coffee a few days ago and we still haven't gotten any Oy. so I'm just gonna head to the coffee shop in town and just get myself something to drink but I'll pick something up for Dan too. But yeah, welcome to today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoy it, and I will catch you catch in a minute. <laughs> oh, and here's my outfit for the day. I have my Patagonia jacket on. I have my sweatshirt that I got from Target. I have on just like an undershirt. I have on my airy spandex, and then I got my hunter boots on. brilliant idea of making um, a TTCP cup thanks in part to you guys because I got a few comments laughing about how um, I was peeing into one of like my kids <laughs> drinking cups obviously it wasn't gonna be in rotation there's literally so many random things on Etsy like why has no one thought about making like a TTCP cup so there you go guys go flood the market anyone who has like a cry cut machine or however else you pronounce it the whatever the c-r-i-c-u-t machine i think i actually pronounced that incorrectly in a video once before i don't know if i'm pronouncing it correctly now but whatever the decal making machine Mommy, that you use vinyl for oh can i help you love bug can i help you get down you just want to sit there so I decided I'm going to make myself some TTC pea cups. So I have this one that I made and this one says faith, trust, and baby dust. And the other one I made upstairs I'll show you in a little bit. That one's hilarious. I don't know why I think it's just so funny, but it just makes me laugh. I don't know. I feel like I need to kind of update you guys on a few things that you've missed in the last day or two. Sorry, I'm just like doing things while talking to you. One of them is our playroom. Look at this, guys. So finally, I'm not sure if I showed you this before, but finally got the replacement part of the shelf. Here is what the Sprout shelf looks like. Sprout is the company. I will link it below for you guys if you wanna go and check it out. They have some really amazing furniture. A lot of it is like Montessori inspired. They're the ones who will be sending me the Pickler triangle. I'm not patting myself on the back in any way because I have literally nothing to do with this, but I have such good luck when I do giveaways with um, businesses and like other YouTubers or like people like that. I always, guys, one of us always wins. It's always from my channel or like my like 
followers but I'm always just like yeah we won we won we won because I'm like so happy for you guys so yeah someone someone from our um, channel someone who watches our channel ended up winning and I'm just like so happy about that the gather mat that I got came this is available online it's actually sold out on their website but I was able to find it on a different website and it's still in stock so if you would like to get this you guys can and then this is just like a hot mess right now, but I kind of just been slowly putting things in places, trying to figure out where I want to put it. I ended up ordering some more um, of the Banner Toys blocks for Cooper because I can't find the rest of his and I'd like to get him a new set anyway. And yeah, I have some other blocks coming for this area that I'm really excited to share with you guys. And then I got the shelves here. So there's going to be two shelves here. I think I'm going to put like a world map here. And then the most exciting thing is I got a new rug. I ended up not going with a ruggable rug. I ended up going with a regular rug because ruggable did not come in the size that I needed and I was trying to make it work because I really do enjoy their rugs. But I was able to get a rug for $175 in a nine by 12 size. So I was like, that's a good enough deal for me because rugs that big are so expensive. When I say that I have never in my life seen a more beautiful rug, it is like heaven. It is just a dream. It is just everything to me. Like I, it is a Marie Kondo brings me joy type of situation. And I love it. It is like, it like speaks to my soul. I went to the Target dollar spot yesterday and they have these dollar little like unicorn looking slimes. They're, they come in like this thing. I guess it's like a unicorn horn or I don't know. But it was a dollar and Cooper and Willow have been loving playing with it. It's just, I don't know, it's not even sticky. It's kind of just that like gooey slime. I can't really explain it. But they've been loving playing with it. And I also got these. These are a dollar. But these are what uh, Cooper learned his shapes and his ABCs on. He really enjoyed them. So we got them for Willa. She already knows most of her colors. Um, we we're working on shapes. And she can sing the alphabet. But she doesn't really know what she's saying. So we decided to get these ones as well. To kind of like really teach her the alphabet. What's wrong? I want to see your computer. Why do you want to see my computer? Here. Take a Here. Take a picture of you. Can I take a picture of right idea? Is that a great idea? Okay. Well, what do you want me to take a picture of? Do you want me to do it with my phone? What? You doing peace sign? Who taught you that? Who taught you peace sign? Who taught you that? Oddbots. Oddbots taught you that? Uh -huh. Did you do a peace sign? This is this means peace. Oh my gosh, you're too old. You're an old kid. I can't take it. You're only three, you gotta slow down. Oh my goodness, you're adorable. I feel like I haven't updated you guys recently on my diaper bag. I used to do a bunch of different like uh, diaper bag videos where I would like pack them and show you everything that's in them. But now with having two toddlers, I really don't pack that much. To be honest, I basically just take this. It's a easy peasy with Logan and Lenora um, like waterproof liner pack. I'm like out of breath right now. <laughs> um, and in here, I just take two to three diapers for Willa. I have our gather mat right here. I love these things. The mat that's up in the playroom, the one on the wall, is the exact same company. They're meant for like going under the high chairs. They're meant for going to the beach with them, playing outside on them, um, and changing mats. So I love these. It's an amazing changing mat. Very easy to keep clean. Folds up super, super tiny, which is exactly what I like. So I put that in here. I'll grab some undies for Cooper, which I, my favorite undies to get him are the ones from Target, the Cat and Jack company, and then I grab him an extra pants, just because you never know with a relatively new potty trained child um, when you might need those, so I try not to leave home without them. I have like a million bajillion pens in here just because I also use this bag as my work bag. I have uh, a water bottle for myself in here. Um, just like my little notepad. This is my journal to Cooper and Willa. As you guys can see, I have just like a bunch of writing and photos and such. 
I started this book um, September 16th, 2015. Cooper was born um, September 21st, 2016, a few days over a year later. And that means that I was writing this book to Cooper before I even uh, got pregnant. I just always knew that Cooper was going to exist. Um, but yeah, as time went on, I ended up changing it from just me talking to Cooper to me then talking to um, Willa as well. So it's just gonna be a book where different different phrase, phases of the book are gonna be for kind of different people. We'll just, I don't know. I'm just writing in it and hoping that one day they'll have this book to kind of, I wanna give it to them when they're in their 20s so that they just can kind of understand how I was as a person at age 20 and all the struggles that I went through that they might go through as well are completely normal. Um, whenever I have free time, I always jot down in that book. So that goes most places with me. Uh, and then I have like my wallet, which is right here. And then I pack each one of their canteens. So these are Yeti canteens that I got them. Cooper and Willa had their name on them. Uh, we only bring these ones out with us. And I have to say, they're definitely worth the investment. I wouldn't use them inside the house because they leak if they are open. So if they are open and they go upside down, water just pours out of them. But when you're out and about, it keeps the water cold. They're easy to spot. And I just like them. So we have those. And then that's my diaper bag. I don't pack a lot. There's no really need to. Even if Willa needed like some diaper creams or whatnot, um, we're usually out around a store and I can usually wait until I get back home. If one of them needed Tylenol or a thermometer, I could just run into a store really quickly or we would just head back home. And I get a million people asking me about my diaper bag. My diaper bag is from Nena & Co. That's how you pronounce it. It's not, it's not Nena, it's Nena & Co. And they are gorgeous. They are super expensive. I mean, not super expensive in the grand scheme of things in comparison to other bags. But you're pretty much getting like a top of the line diaper bag. I think they're like three something, 300 and something dollars. Um, I made a video for them. It was the warrior video for my miscarriage, just like explaining my story. And they sent me this bag as a thank you. So I have carried it with me ever since. Even though I got it for free, I would have 100% spent $300 on this bag. And in fact, I might actually get another one one day down the road. Okay, folks, we are in the car. We are gonna go to the zombie place. This is what our, like, we're very routine people. We do this every week. Cooper loves it. He exerts energy like no other, and Willow actually really enjoys it. And as you guys know, she has um, benign congenital hypotonia, so she has low muscle tone. So going to, like, a jumpy place actually really benefits her. So that's what we've been doing. And then we go grocery shopping afterwards as a fam. And that's been, it's been our schedule. So babe, do you think that I'm pregnant? Uh, yes. And why do you think that I'm pregnant? Because you're not nuts. <laughs> you <laughs> such um, a jerk. <laughs> no, you, you, you do seem a little different. Like, uh, not emotional different but um you, like your personality is a little different which i yeah. remember this from two pregnancies yeah that like i can notice that you are different than you are every day usually yeah so that's why i think it but it could just be yeah, just a fluke. the weather yeah yeah it could yeah. be a slew of things but i feel like you are pregnant yeah. because i want you to be pregnant do you think you are yeah yeah. Why do you think? I mean, you would be able to feel the difference that I would see, but why do you think? Um, just like, I don't know, I just feel like I have like an equilibrium. Like nothing, nothing bothers me like it normally does. I'm very like calm and relaxed and not that I'm like insane when I'm not pregnant, but um, normally right now I would be a complete mess. I would be having social anxiety, I would be feeling, I'd be having like intrusive thoughts, I'd be having like many panic attacks, like up until I would get my period. So, yeah. and I just feel so normal. I think that's what I'm noticing. Not that you're not like going insane, but like, 
the way you interact with people is a little different. That, like some things you would say to someone would be like a little different. The way you interact with the kids, the way you interact with me, like it's, it's just like a tiny bit different. So like you know you get like a feeling you're like something's a little off. Yeah. Not off in a bad way, but something's a little different. different. So I noticed that. I picked that up. Yeah. I mean, we spend a lot of time together, so right. I would pick something like that small up. Yeah, definitely. To tell you the truth, I'm at this point where like I don't even care if I am or not because I just feel so good that it just doesn't. Yeah. It's a win-win for me at this point. Yeah. Why? Well, about it. Yeah, yeah. Just enjoy the fact that I, I can make you it through good. a cycle feeling good. Yeah. What's up? Feeling good. Right. We have to go to Trader Joe's. Okay. What? Let's get out. Okay. Go to home again. Yeah. Thank you. Willa and I went to Trader Joe's because it's right across the street and then we usually join Cooper and Willa for jumping. It's just too long of a period for Willa to, to jump. So she usually ends up getting tired so we go shopping. But I want to show you guys a few of the things really quickly that we always get from Trader Joe's. Um, the only thing that is new is this right here. I always drink their coffee every time that I'm in the store. And I was like, oh, this is what the coffee is that I'm always drinking and I'm always really enjoying. So I ended up getting it to, to have it at home. So it has like notes of pineapple and brown sugar. And you can definitely taste like a very gentle, light flavor. Like it's, there's no real like intense bitterness to the coffee, which I really like. So I ended up getting this. Our go-to's, ABC cookies. Oh my goodness, if your kid has not had these, maybe it's a good idea that you do not get them because they are addicted to these. They, like, seriously, they love ABC cookies. They're also cute if you wanna do any type of, like, alphabet type of learning, you can use these as well. Uh, Dan is super into these, good keto snack. They have less than one carb in them, um, 15 grams of protein, uh, total fat is 12 grams and the first ingredient really the only ingredient is semi semi aged semi aged cheese and then grana padano cheese and that's it <laughs> so they're just like crunchy cheese bites oven baked and he really likes them Dan also really likes to drink bone broth I haven't really got on onto that yet <laughs> but he really likes it and this is by far the cheapest we've been able to find it for like really good quality bone broth um, with organic beef and this is $2.99 so if you guys drink bone broth and you want to get some bone broth hit up a Trader Joe's $2.99 for this is amazing normally this is like $5.99 $6.99 $7.99 I like getting these the chomps are really not that great for you but the first ingredient is 100% grass-fed beef. So, this is the jalapeno one. So, when I'm in a pinch, I'll have one of these. Um, but the biggest thing that we go for is this puppy right here. If your kids like pirate's booty, let me give you the ultimate life hack. A bag half this size uh, at any other store, the actual name brand pirate's booty is like $6.99 so expensive so expensive this is a dollar 99 it is identical to pirate's booty and i would even go as far as to say that it might possibly be better than pirate's booty so guys life hack for you if your kids are obsessed with pirate's booty if you've never had pirate's booty before giving it to your kids think of it as like a healthier alternative to like a cheese doodle that's what it is that's pretty much what it is but yeah these are eaten like crazy in my household by my two children they love it as a snack <laughs> like a dollar 99 like we have saved so much money we can basically like go on vacation now <laughs> because of the amount of money that we save yeah so that is what we get at uh trader joe's we basically just kind of like stock up on the basics just like certain things there that we really like um we don't usually stray too far i also got some like oranges and yeah whenever i see like produce that looks like really fresh we'll usually get it but into the jumpy place Willa's just been sitting here like staring at me like mom are you ready to like go you want to go jumpy okay let's go I love you If 
find your way grocery store really quickly just to grab last minute things last few things that we need on the list um but I'm feeling so pregnant right now <laughs> like so pregnant and I'm trying not to um think too much about it I'm trying just to stay like calm and happy and um just positive and optimistic but like I think it's pretty clear that I'm feeling really good right now I'm sure you can guys can tell just everything about me as the days go on just get better and better I feel like how I feel um, my positivity my patience um, my skin my hair like I just feel like I mean people are gonna be hating and saying that it's like too early for these things but I don't know I just feel pregnant I feel really pregnant and I like I was just standing in the the grocery store right so let me share these three moments that I've had so far which are hilarious the first one I was looking at Cooper's new school <laughs> so I'm not gonna talk about this too much right now I actually I'm gonna touch on it on Instagram so if you guys want to head over there you can read more about um, Cooper's new school and Willa's new school we've made the decision to put Willa in school early because she's a genius but enough about that um i was reading his new schedule guys i'm sitting there reading it to to dan and he's just like looking at me like and i'm like <laughs> and then they have snack time <laughs> and and then they go outside for open play <laughs> and i'm like crying and like trying to hold back the tears and he's like <laughs> you're so pregnant <laughs> I was so emotional, emotional about Cooper and him just like, I don't know, I I was, I don't know why I was emotional, it wasn't like, you know, oh, I, he's growing up, like I'm over it, like he's gonna grow up, I'm happy he's growing up, it was just, I just could not hold my emotions in, it was just like an excessive amount of emotion. And then the other day, we're out to eat, and I'm sitting at the diner with everyone, and I'm eating a BLT, and it was like a really delicious BLT. And I just start tearing up and trying to hold back my tears. And Dan's just looking at me like... <laughs> He's like, are you crying over your BLT? And I was like, it's a really good BLT. <laughs> but then I said to him, I was like, well, no, I'm, I'm getting emotional because like, I love my family. I'm sitting here and like I have beautiful children and we're all healthy and we're all happy and we have such a wonderful life and I'm just so grateful for it. So I'm just like sitting there crying at the diner. <laughs> so there's that. And then before we're standing in the grocery store and I'm just like looking at Cooper and Willa and I'm like, I might have another little one of you. Like you two are my world and I might have another like another little girl or like another little boy like could you imagine another little being with its own name and its own quirks and 
like silliness and happiness and I'm just like <gasps> so I was crying while we were putting the groceries on the uh, um, on the belt <laughs> so there's that um, so I think you can say I've been a, a smidge tad a little bit emotional I'm just feeling good like really good and I can't wait to test and like actually know definitely gonna be pretty confused if I'm not pregnant but I'm not really gonna be too disappointed because I will happily take feeling like this every time after ovulation my life would be changed but anyway we're just gonna wait for Dan don't think I'm gonna pick up the camera for the rest of the day so um, we'll catch you tomorrow hi guys good morning so I managed to make it later than I normally do um, it's 4 46 a.m. right now and I just peed in my nifty cup you can see my pee um, it's a lot of pee <laughs> it says faith trust and baby dust on it if you're wondering where you can buy one of those you can't cuz I made it <laughs> Um, but I am 8 DPO today, which is definitely very early to test. However, I did get a positive digital with Cooper's pregnancy. So you never know. Well, we're going to go ahead and test and then I'm going to chat with you for like a minute. And then I'll, I'll wait the remaining amount of time so you poor guys don't have to wait three minutes with me. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Five. There you go. We are in business. Okay. Done. Boom. Cool. Put that down. Alright, you guys. So I want to talk to you really quickly. Oh, mm, timer. Hey, Google. No. Not it. Wrong person. Hey, Siri. Set timer for three minutes. Okay. Three minutes and... I wanted to talk to you guys really quickly about what's going to happen from um, here on out for just like a little while. So normally our videos go up Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm definitely feeling very pregnant and um, I just wanted to go over like two scenarios with you for our channel and our content. Chances are we'll probably find out tomorrow or the next day or the day after. Our videos are pretty much filmed the day before or two days before they are uploaded to YouTube and put live. When this video ends, we are going to take some time to either A, tell our family and friends that I am pregnant, um, like our close friends, have that like time to just spend with them for a little while and enjoy it and absorb it and I want to surprise Dan, I want to surprise Coop and Willa. I just feel like Dan and I deserve to have that time, you know? Especially since we're, we're telling people so soon for like the greater good so that I can share this journey and experience with the world um, because we've already had a miscarriage and I've already shared it with the world, so I'm not afraid to do that again if that happens. If it is negative and I am not pregnant, I'm going to be super confused. <laughs> but regardless, I think we're still going to take some time because it's really a bummer and it's sad and I just, I just need a break sometimes and I just need some time to just like honestly like get my period and just kind of like chill and relax so we're pretty much more or less going to take that time as well maybe come back a smidge sooner but i'm not talking like weeks i'm just talking maybe like a few days to a week um i'm talking like a few days to a week to a week and a half like that type of situation nothing I told you guys I would not make you wait the three minutes and like here we are. <laughs> this isn't a ploy to get you guys to subscribe or anything like that. This is literally us making the decision to have this time for our family because we know that we need it mentally, mentally, physically, and emotionally. Might be a good idea to turn your bell notification on now because normally our channel is consistent in posting and you could usually just come back Monday, Wednesday, Friday. 
but especially if I am pregnant, our videos will not be coming out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday like they normally are because there's going to be a million moving parts. There's going to be a lot of videos that we have planned that are going to be super fun and different and exciting and those videos are gonna come out, gonna have to come out at different times. So, just wanted to say that. If you're new here, hi, I am Lex. We're a weird family, <laughs> no, We're funny people. Um, we live life very happily and, and looking for joy and just being silly, and I hope you come and hang out with us. But, I have a pregnancy test here. I'm actually really tired, so I wanna go back to bed. So let's look at this test, I'm ATPO. I like to give myself a little pep talk before looking at a test. I am more than a, a second line on a test. I am more than a piece of plastic. My worth is not um, measured by a positive or negative pregnancy test. So, I'm early. If there's no line, there's no line. That's it. Wait, guys, there's a line. Wait, but is it? It looks thin. This is why I always save my pee. There's, there's so a line. Okay, wait, wait a second. You guys probably want to see the test, but like, as always, it's probably not going to show up. See, I don't know, like I want to say there's definitely a line, but it's a little thin. Okay, that's really exciting. <laughs> okay, well guys, I'm gonna end the video here because I, I don't wanna say anything more. I want to be able to like share this with my family and friends first out of respect to, the, to them. Um, so we're, I'm gonna go, but yeah, subscribe and hit that bell notification because I don't know when we're gonna post next. And I'm super excited to share with you just like everything. But yeah, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, we love you and we'll see you in our next video. <laughs> Bye. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay.